Hello, thank you for stopping by. This is Make You Next to Chase YouTube channel, your one stop channel for sewing and cutting tips and illustrations. So, if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, you want to do so right away and click on the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you would be the first person to know. My name is Meg, your favorite fashion tutor, committed to showing you easy ways to cut and sew. So today on this channel, we are going to be drafting a tulip sleeve, otherwise known as the petal, the petal sleeve. Okay, and you need your your basic sleeve, the short sleeve to draft the petal sleeve. If you don't know how to draft a basic sleeve, you want to check on this channel i've made a video on how to draft the basic sleeve both the short sleeve and the long sleeve so i said to draft the petal sleeve you need your full block your full block basic sleeve so the first thing you want to do is to get the midpoint okay you want to mark the midpoint of this pattern so here right here is the midpoint okay this is the midpoint okay so so here's the midpoint so once you have marked the midpoint you want to also once you have marked the midpoint this is the armhole area this is the part that will go around the armhole so you want to get the half of either of this um, either you want to get the half from this point to this point or from this point to this point So let's use this part of it. So let's get the half of the midpoint of From here to here. It can either be from here to here whichever part you're You're choosing. So how to go about that is simply you place your tape rule at this beginning point Okay, place it around this point like so and you want to just fold over okay you want to fold over like this and mark the midpoint okay so make a mark at that point so here is here is the the middle of this point here okay so the next thing you want to do is you want to connect you want to connect this point here to this other part here you want to connect this point to this other part with a curve, okay? So just pick your curve and you want to do the connection. Okay, so watch how I place my curve. You want to just connect it together like so. So watch the M of the other side. Okay, so... Here is what we have right now. You can even come down beyond the midpoint. You can start from here, you know, however, but this is like the standard. So we're going to be cutting this out immediately. So we're going to cut out right now. You can cut out from this beginning part, whichever part. So, and of course, when you're cutting out, before you cut out, make sure you notch the middle. You want to... You want to take note of this midpoint here. So I'm just going to cut out. So once you're done cutting out, this is the part we are going to be working with. So I want to just kind of trim off this part more. So this is the part of the sleeve we are going to be working with remember that we cut it out like this okay so this is a part of the sleeve we are going to be working with so we're going to be tracing this on our fabric okay we'll trace this on our fabric right away okay like i said this is the part that we need so i'll just take off this part and we are going to trace this on our fabric. Now, mind you, if you are going to be using one fabric for the tulip sleeve, all you need is to fold this into two. Okay, you fold into two like so, and you place it on it. Okay, you fold into two and you place on it and just, you know, cut out. 
if you have not added your allowance to your pattern you want to of course add your allowances round okay but in this case i want to use two different fabrics so that we are going to see the beauty of the tulip sleeve so what i will just do is to place this one pattern on this fabric without putting on fold so i will just place it like so okay let me bring it this way so i'll place it like this you can see i'll place it like this and i'll just trim it okay so i'm not going to be adding allowances because i assume i have done that on the pattern already so we're going to trace out this pattern on the fabric okay so just trace it out make sure you are holding the pattern down make sure you, are, you can pin it down if it would move around okay so just trace exactly okay so you trace it like so then the sides if you want you can pin down so that it will not move around Okay, so I've cut out. Don't forget to notch the middle. Remember, this is the middle, the mark we, the notch we made earlier. So on the fabric also, you want to notch the middle. Okay, so we have notched the middle. And of course, here is the armhole area and here is the middle. So we are going to be, we need another one of this. Okay, we need a second one. So we're going to be tracing it. So we need two of the we need one more of this so i'm going to be tracing this on this other fabric remember i said i want us to have two different fabrics okay so all you need to do is make sure you note this is the right side of this of this fabric here is the wrong side and for this one this is the right side and this is the wrong side so make sure that in your placement is either you place it right side facing right side or wrong side facing wrong side. So this is the right side, and this is the, and this is and this here is the right side. So I'll just place it like so, right side facing right side, and I'm going to be trimming, tracing exactly what I have here. Okay, I'll just trace. Make sure you hold your hold it down firmly so that it doesn't move. Okay, so you just keep cutting like so. Remember, if you want to use just one fabric, just put it on fold, then you'll be getting the two pieces. But because we want to use two different fabric, that's why I did not put my initial fabric on fold. So I'll just cut along this line now. You want to pin down please if you know it's going to move around you want to pin it down so right now i will just and uh, hey don't forget to notch also notch this other the one beneath because that's the midpoint you need that notch okay so you want to notch it also then you can open up okay so we have it like this so you now then you put these notches together you put the notches together like so, making sure that it aligns. So you can see, look at the notch on the other fabric, look at the notch here. So you want to place it together like this. And here is the, here is our tulip sleeve. You can see the tulip effect, the petal effect, okay? Now you can have, let me just pin this down. Okay, so I'm just going to hold it down with my pins. Okay, so I've pinned it down. If you have any question, please feel free to drop your question in the comment section of this video. 
okay so here is our tulip sleeve look at how nice it is looking now you can have a double of this you can have another you can have another tulip on this particular one so to go about that all you need to do is to bring back your pattern this is the pattern we used in getting this bring back your pattern like this and you want to create another shape so just this is the midpoint remember so just step up you can step up let's say you can step up by two inches or even one inches one and a half then on this part also you want to step up let's say by two inches okay it depends okay and you want to also connect together you want to connect together okay so i've connected you can see then you want to cut out cut out like this and we're going to be tracing this on our fabric to get something like this okay so you bring back the fabric and we want to trace so i'll just place this like so just like we did earlier all right so i've traced this smaller piece this smaller piece i've traced it on on the fabric just like we did for the other one and i've play i've um, notched it and i've notched look at the notch here okay so we notched it and when you bring it together like this you're going to be having having it like this okay so you put the notches together and this is the midpoint okay so this is the the longer one so you see you can put them together also okay you put it this is this is the notch here just place the notch on top like so and you place it you place this other one on it okay you can see like this and of course i'm going to be pinning down so you can see how beautiful it is looking you can have many layers it can be longer than this that begins from the length of your basic sleeve if your if your basic sleeve is long it will be longer so you want to take to your sewing machine and you want to join the pieces together round like this okay just join them together and of course you want to finish up these edges you finish it up either with a bias you can fold it you can also um, weave it okay however you want to finish up so this is our tulip sleeve remember you can have more than two layers you can even have up to three four layers it depends on the style you are making okay so here we have our tulip sleeve okay so i'm just spinning it round so that all the pieces will... so this is the part that will be sewn round the armhole okay so look at how beautiful it is it is looking okay so this here right here is the tulip sleeve so when you fix on your sleeve it would be looking like this and here will be at the midpoint okay this effect here would be at the midpoint of your arm so i hope you learned something um feel free to drop your questions please comment like share um like the video share and do not fail to subscribe to this channel so that each time i upload a new video you'll be the first person to know and on this channel we have illustrations on other types of sleeve so you want to go over the channel so you would get to know how to draft other type of sleeve so i'll see you in my next class bye